All right, I just came across something kind of interesting. I hadn't really took a look at these before, but I was trying to find one of these um, little frequency counter displays, um, like this one right here, but one that has the buttons on the front and not the back. And um, anyway, um, I came across this and I'm like, well, what the hell? This is a 2 to 2800 megahertz frequency counter, and it reads the frequency, it reads the tones, the DCS, and all this other stuff, which is kind of neat. Um, but if it's anything as accurate as some of the radios, um, I wonder how accurate the frequency is. Because um, some of these radios have the frequency counter in them to copy whatever. And do something similar, uh, but I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. Um, but a lot of these aren't real accurate, you know, on the radios, so I don't know if these are any better. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So now, yeah, um, so this is what I do have. We need to, you need to get the other one that has a little bit more on it, and the one that has an extra digit on it, um, will have the buttons on the front and you can mount them in a case these unfortunately um they have the buttons on the back and um in order to do anything to them you wouldn't really be able to mount them in a case okay here it is right here uh twenty dollars and you get really really good resolution i guess um i've had a couple of these i used to order them on ebay i don't remember how much they were back then i want to say they were about 12 or 13 dollars um, so, and then there's, what's this one? So there are a few different ones. So that's the, uh, PLJ eight. And I think the one I have is the PLJ six. And, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, um, now believe it or not, these aren't too bad. Um, like if you're trying to, you know, do some work and you're, you know, uh, kind of close um, on guessing where you need to be. Here's your work. Excuse me. So, um, I need to order one of these at some point in time, but um, I don't know that I really want to build a circuit with it, but um, these certainly definitely work for certain things. Um, uh I, I don't remember if there was an issue with them not being real sensitive or too sensitive, uh, but I think a lot of people buy these for CB radios and stuff like that. Um, but so you can take something like this and program it to read um, the offset frequency, or you know, like it's going to read um, um, uh, it'll read the VFO, okay? Like on something like a FT101, it'll read the VFO frequency. And you can set it to calculate your actual frequency based on what it sees coming out of the VFO. And, um, and so they're kind of cool for that. But And, like, you could use this for, like, uh, possibly building a display for, like, a vintage uh, Swan or a Kenwood that doesn't have a digital display. Um, and they would be uh, probably available in a couple of different colors. Uh, what's this one? Uh, this one is uh, blue. Blue costs a dollar more, almost. So you get blue or red. Um, this this company, the Perfert. They actually are the ones that have my amplifier board that I want to buy. Also, these are pretty common too. I think I would probably uh, run with one of these. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit better. Um I don't know what the resolution of this one is, but I think it has the ability to display a little bit more than what it's showing. Um, but I, I mean, I could be wrong, but you got an SMA connector on there. And so you could uh, probably fabricate something that would be easier. $21 for that one. High resolution frequency counter display. 10 hertz to 2.7 gigahertz uh, for $109. And that looks actually quite nice. Um, so 
something like this, if it's really accurate, would be really good if you're going to work on radios a lot. Now you do it if you're like a golden screwdriver CB dude. So there's a couple of the other ones. So they still have those. That's cool. Um, there used to be some other ones on eBay, I think, that had even more digits, like two more digits. So, yeah, yeah tired. Um, I wonder what else they got. I gotta make sure that I've, I've searched this through. Uh, <coughs> I don't want to see stuff that's not going to be shipped by Prime, but. Anyway, this one's $55. I don't know, you know, $46. Yeah, I don't know what kind of work you can use these to do. It says... Nah, anyway. I don't know. I remember the E's. This one... I've got somewhere I've got an MFJ one. Here is the CB display. Uh, what is this? This is a DDS function, signal generator, counter signal source, module, sine wave, triangle, saw, tooth, waveform for $27. I mean, that's like quite a bit of stuff. Now, don't they ever show you what the display looks like on? <laughs> Can you show me what it looks like powered on? So I like this. Uh, I don't know what the resolution is, but um, it's a DDS. So, like, yeah, this would be um, definitely along the lines of very useful. Um, otherwise, probably one of these other ones that costs a little bit more might be better. Uh, oh, yeah, breaker, breaker. Um, you type in frequency counter and you'll unleash the 11 meter. Okay. Automatically synonymous with galaxy radios. What in the hell? An Anti-spy detector, upgraded bug detector. Pretty cool. Look at this. Uh, FM transmitter. So they're showing us a picture of the UVK5 because it has a frequency counter on it, I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Only $484. You can buy this fancy-looking CB radio for the price of a used HF radio. Awesome. I've never understood... Why people pay more for a CB radio than a used HF radio. Don't understand it. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and buy a used HF radio to talk on CB, but if it was me, I think I would do that before I bought some $500 CB radio. Alright, that's it for frequency counters, but I, I thought I would show that with you guys. Um... Because um, those are kind of neat. Now, I don't know why we're not seeing, like, the other kind of frequency counters. Um, usually, the uh, maybe it's uh, the uh, signal generator that uh, we'd have to look up. Let me look that up really quick. Uh, um, because I think those ones uh, do both. One point six gigahertz. All right, these ones here, right here, these kind. So this is a DDS uh, signal generator counter. This is this is what I would buy. Um, it's uh, only goes up to a certain amount. Uh, I don't know how high you need to go, but these definitely look cool. Um, I had one like this that looked similar, but like the older version, and it was a piece of crap. It looked like this one. 
it was junk um, so hopefully these ones are better yeah anyway that's what I was looking for